five. <clears throat> Am I alive, boys and girls? Uh, window capture. Thanks. All right. All right. Why are you guys bringing two? All right, so this will be the start of my video. Let me just farm on the side. So today we'll be talking about fat Lucian and maybe quad Lucian. So that requires a Jameer. So let's quickly just, um, just show you the units that you will need. So for free to play players like myself, You'll be using this unit, and hopefully everyone has this unit because it was free from the beginning of the game. <clears throat> and then the most obvious one is last unit is the Lucian. Okay, so this is your core team for Fat Lucian. You have hey, Fallen Nexus! Thanks for the subscription. Okay, so this is your core, right? Ah! This is your core. And this is the must-have in your team. Alicia is the must-have. If you really don't have Alicia and you have a Raki, you can use that too just for the speed lead. But honestly, you need an Alicia. So the point of Raki in this scenario is you're using it solely for the 44% H sorry attack percent lead. Whereas for Alicia, you're also using it for the 44, but also for the third skill and second skill cleanup. So you're gonna you're probably gonna ask me why am I picking um, Tion over this this bird, which does the same thing. And this unit right here, um, Dova. So <clears throat> let me just say this right now. Um, Tion has faster base speed than Konamiya, so that's why it's preferred. Also, Dova is not free to play, so um, I have no experience using that. But to my knowledge, um, it'll probably be very similar to Konamiya because you will not have any um, potential to revive and recover. So that's why I think Tion is the best um, in this pact here. And then for Bernard, um, it is interchangeable um, if, if you saw my last video, if you have Frigate. Um, however, <clears throat> Frigate does require higher room requirements just because his base speed is lower. Um, but definitely the third skill is really... Um, really powerful so the top row is my core team and i'll show you an example later but um in terms of runes what you want to do is you want to have <clears throat> this unit on one fight set and then you want this unit right here to have your rate your strongest so your strongest rage um blade set and 100% crit rate. If you're not able to achieve 100% crit rate and you need to sacrifice some crit rate to do more damage, um, then you'll be very similar to what I'm what I'm doing. My fat Lucian is 97 crit rate just because I can get more damage, um, but it is less consistent. Um, and then your Bernard is obviously your fastest um, swift set. And then here comes the biggest question is your Alicia, right? So your Alicia should be, um, <clears throat> it should be either Rage, Rage Will, Swift Will, and 
Um, not Fatal Will, because Alicia's base attack is very bad. So you don't want to scale off that. And I don't like using Double Fight on Alicia for two reasons. Biggest one being... Um, you need to farm really, really good fight sets to make her work because you do need high DPS to clean up. Second of all, um, <clears throat> having um, having fight sets is just is just hard to come by overall, right? Two, you need two of four in total and two will, and you're, it'll be hard to achieve those um, those those baseline stats that you want on a rage will set or a swift will set. Um, so for Raki, if you have a Raki you will ruin it a little differently just because you will not be hitting the same things that an Alicia user will be doing. So what I recommend on Raki is you're literally using it for the, the lead and, and 2x fight will or 3x fight just to make your Lucian do more damage for your Raki. Um, this video will be talking about Alicia and not Raki, but you can... Um, put Raki in situations where I use Alicia if it doesn't require cleanup, and I'll explain more about that. So now that this is, um, we're good with this, I'll resume my my screen, my game. <clears throat> Hold on, where is the game? Okay, so let's just finish um, the Giants run. Let me see if the chat has questions. How slow can Lucian be? Uh, Lucian does not require any speed, um, just the strongest set because your Teon will give it attack bar boost and it will go. I will explain the mechanic. Um, even against, <clears throat> why not go full fight on Teon? Because you do need to speed tune your Teon with your Bernard to go next. So it's 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 going to be really difficult for you to find a plus 170, 160 set, whatever on your um, on your Teon. So that's why it has to be swift fight. How does speed work? Um, I won't go into that, but Teon's, um, Teon's second skill, the research, makes it so your fat Lucian with no speed will get the next turn order. So I will show you, um, I'm in Conquer 2, not sure where my viewers are at, but I will show you <clears throat> the variations, right? So this... You'll, my runes are all in my stream, um, or I'll post the, um, the imagers below, but I'll show them right here. So I'll have it on Rage Will, 100% crit rate for consistency. But you also need HP because you do need to live against two Pisama's um, attack, the Revive and the Second Skull when it comes back. So my Bernard, on your po fastest possible Swift set, your <clears throat> Tion should be slightly tanky with a fight set. My fight sets aren't that great. Um, they are hard to find. So anything works as long as it's speed tuned with your Bernard. And then the Fat Lucian, right? So the Fat Lucian, as close as possible to 100 crit rate while having maximum damage. This video will be not focusing on 70 crit rate Lucians with QB. It is strictly 100% or as close to um, <clears throat> for speed. For crit rate. So having a little bit of HP is very useful because it helps you recover or have another turn against Rakans and Pernas. And <clears throat> you don't need any speed, um, as you can see from 30. So that is the mechanic of the Fat Lucian team. And the interchangeable parts of Fat Lucian is very similar to my um, to my my first video where I changed um, Alicia to a P-Sama if you're contesting speed lead with speed lead. So I will start here. So what I'm going to hope for is, um, even though it's double fire, I think Alicia might clean up um, just because the Fat Lucian will fluffer them down. However, the aerial, if if your Fat Lucian is strong enough, you might blast through it and kill it before a Nemesis heals, right? So you really have to test the waters with this new team once you make it to see what you can really hit. Um, I'll probably kill this aerial just because I'm down in such low rank and I get legends. So I think my room quality will, you know, there you go. So, so that is um, the fastest clear you can possibly do, I think. 
Um, beats Isis because animations. Beats Double Lucian because you need two two rotations uh, with the Lucians. Moving on. So this is why you need the fastest set on your Bernard because you're contesting speed lead. A speed monster with speed monster. Even though Tiana usually doesn't have the fastest speed set. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a really good idea if you're focusing on Arena to have your fastest set on Bernard. If you had Frigate, would you switch with Bernard? Yes, I would, and I'll switch some runes around to make my Frigate even faster. <clears throat> so, the idea here is um, Perna will die to Alicia. Uh, her, her, Triana's usually die to my Fat Lucian, and Ardenmill is a defense based monster, and Tr uh, Tiana is probably just rune for speed, so I'll probably just blast through this in one rotation. Right? So there you go. Um, so Raki would work here because you just cleaned up their whole rotation. Raki can clean this unit up. Um, no unit. Alicia doesn't need to clean up any other units other than Perna. So that's why Raki works here. But in my video, I'll be showing you reasons why Alicia works way, way better than um, Raki. So similar concept here. I will just hit him in one shot. You always click the fire unit so you don't get crit animations if you want to speed, up, speed it up as fast as possible. Um, it won't always work, but those few seconds can matter if it's a tight race. How you speed tuned your... How? Um, I speed tuned my Alicia with my double Lucian team, so there's no specific for this team. Okay, for this one, it has a speed lead, right? So if you're not confident in your speed set, use any speed lead, any 33 lead. If you have Vanessa, you can use it here. If you have Pisama, even better. The reason why Vanessa works here is because no unit comes back and revives and requires cleanup. So you can just blow through it in one turn. And if you're really confident, you can use a 44 lead, but there's no risk here um, to take. Next. Okay, so this this will likely work just because Wind Panda is a defense-based monster and you guys probably aren't building a triple HP. Chow will die to my Lucian just because it's a crit damage build, so it won't live it. So what will probably happen here is Vanessa will revive something. Your fat Lucian, Vanessa's are usually tank builds and if you glance, you won't kill it. So it revives that and note that <clears throat> Alicia's third skill gets countered by Triana's passive. <clears throat> so that's something for you to note. Okay. Done. All right. So very similarly, uh, in this team, Alicia will clean up the Garo. I don't expect them to go first. Two fire units die to Alicia. It does not die to Raki. So the Garo gets revived, gets countered by the third skill on Alicia. If it doesn't die here, um, you know, water units are are going to counter this. <clears throat> right. So, last person on my list. So, this team is a classic. Um, some it's, it's very classic that I will try to fat Lucian this. And if it doesn't work, I can use double Lucian. So, the Rakan here, if the Nigong revives. Um, They'll all be a very low HP, but Alicia can clean up, whereas Raki cannot. So this is why um, Alicia is very, very um, crucial in this team. So Nigong does not uh, cut in, but we use third skill to try to kill it and then get the second proc to clean up. So that's why it's, re it's really important that you have Alicia for the cleanup potential. 
So I'll be doing about 10 to 20 more wings just to show you examples. <clears throat> so for this, this is um, a very good example why Pisama is bad on AD because one, we've all figured out how to counter it with will runes and two, um, Alicia just makes it like food. Okay, so hit the fire unit, no crit animations, speed it up. So this is where you need the HP on your Alicia, right? If that was on Nemesis, he would go again and use second skill on me. Okay, second skill, sorry, third skill on Alicia, like the second skill proc, boom, no threat here. You can find out your highest DPS solution by using swap, by filtering by attack. All right, for this, this team does not counter Halfus. But what I am confident in doing is just running something like a Molong and see what happens. Um, if you're not fast enough or if this Tiana's on a speed build, he'll go first. Because I know Tiana's generally are not that fast, even with a 33 lead, I am confident in usually going in like this. You may not be, but that's okay. If you're not confident or don't have the room quality to do this, just skip it. But this is just showing you an example. So this is what I talked about earlier about um, Tion being better. Um, you have better potential to... <clears throat> Does that... We'll take the risk here. Not enough, but um, same concept applies here, right? I normally wouldn't hit this just because this team is not health is cat proof. <clears throat> but... Just to clear all my list, um, we'll hit it. So this is not fast, just because as you can see, we don't have Alicia. But if you're if you're just trying to get into the next level, you have a lot of time. Go for it. So this team, double fire, it will die to Alicia. It does not die to Raki. And there's no threat here of him going first. All right, so he's dead. So that's one rotation with all my units. Okay, so for this team, it's really fire heavy, so I'm not gonna hit it. If this was like G3 room quality, uh, and this was during rush hour, it would probably stall me out. So I'll skip it. All right, so for this, this is a question of, are you confident in your rune quality? Can you contest the, their attack power booster with a speed lead with just your 44 lead and, and Bernard? If you're not able to, then you can use your 33 lead just to contest. Because they, they don't have any threat here, right? Because your Lucian will blast through their team. So I'll use this example with a Pisama and I can try using um, Alicia as well, if you want to see. All right. So I can just clean up here with Pisama. If you don't have Pisama in this scenario, um, I think any other 24 lead would work. But I'll quit out so that you guys can see what I mean if you have confident runes. So... I'm confident in my my runes just because um, I'm 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 down in this this elo that I don't belong in, so I'll probably just do one rotation versus um, P Sama's multiple. So as you can see, this is a lot a lot faster, like maybe five ten seconds depending on RNG. So I will refill will refill wings. All right. So for this, um, this is definitely not a. A rush AD, um, but Chloe probably has her fastest swift set if it's on AD. Um, so we'll just contest speed lead with speed, lead. speed booster with speed booster. <clears throat> so it cuts in. We'll have to wait another rotation. So this is what I mean. My 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 Lucian died, but I have I have comeback potential with the revive right. 
And if this unit does nothing, the if the if the Lucian does nothing, it's just a hitbox for the Perna. And if it doesn't aim the Lucian, it'll aim the Bernard. So either way, having this unit is better than Konamiya. <clears throat> so this is one of the benefits of um, using the Fat Lucian team. It counters um, the the Black Horus, right? So if you give it attack bar, like so, you won't get cut by the Horus. And then you have two fire units that you can counter with Alicia. So I use third skill to try to kill. This is why you need a lot of damage on your Alicia. You have no attack buff and you're relying on the third skill to kill the weak monster and get a reset. So in this, in this case, one rotation is all I needed. The only risk there was if that red health fist would have went and stole a turn. So this team, same concept, you need HP on your Alicia to survive that peace summit revive. If I missed any crits here, it could be pretty devastating that Ritesh would have more HP. Um, but that piece I'm going to revive if I can tank it right here. Okay, it's not on Nemesis, that's fine. So I'm not confident that my third skill will kill any of these units. This scales off speed, of enemy speed, and they have a 33 lead. So I can, I'm confident that this will kill the, the first two units here. Okay, I didn't kill it. So we might be in trouble now. So Ritesh really counters this team just because it has solo potential. But like I said, if you have that Teon, you have that recovery with that revive, unlike Konamiya or Dova. Okay, so this you can contest with speed lead. Um, I'm not going to. If you contest with peace on with speed lead, you will likely take a lot longer than Alicia. Can you explain when you use Fat Lucian versus 2x Lucian? Well, if I can't Fat Lucian them, then I'll just double Lucian them. That's that's basically it. But not everybody will have rune quality like, like me to build this Lucian. So it's really up to you to find what your limits are with your Fat Lucian. And if your rune quality can't make a Fat Lucian, you might as well just run double Lucian. However, double Lucian, um, what I would say is if your fat Lucian can kill Praha and you don't require a Nemesis heal um, from your um, from the other unit, then you can try it out. I think that's at least the baseline. You need to at least kill Prahas. Okay, so that's a Halfist. I can't hit it. All right, so for this... Um, it's pretty meta, Molong, Perna, Camilla, plus one. So this, this is where you really need this to hit really hard. You have four tank units, and then you have Alicia to clean up. Right. So <clears throat> I this is very common where Molong is you know, almost no HP or dead. And this is why you need Alicia and not Raki. You have to clean up with third skill. Trigger the Perna passive if you can. If not, you just clean up with this. And Alicia versus Perna any day unless you Yvonne Proc will win. <clears throat> I'm not going to explain this 30 crit rate buff thing just because you can watch Math Plus Games for this. I think this is better and I've proven that um, with my Legend finishes. Okay, so this is why you need this on Will. Leo, some people run this random Leo AD thing. Um, so always be prepared. And they have no attack bar booster. So there's no way um, it'll screw it up. And big thing here is if that prog cuts in, you automatically lose. Your Alicia is not killing anything here. So that's one of the things you want to test out. Ken, how, how high... Can your Fat Lucian 
Amp Prahas too. Do you illusion everything during rush hour? Yes, I do. You can watch my stream live and I will 99% lucian everything. I do not upload my rush hour VODs. You will have to join live to see what is going on. So, Halfus cannot hit. So for this, I, I'm a little scared because of 33 and not 24, but if I failed this during rush hour, right? This is this is why I rush a little earlier because I want to see, memorize some names. If this guy outspeeds me, put it in the back of my head. Um, this may not apply to you know players that don't rush early. Okay, so this does not apply to me. He's slower. This is where I will need to tank two hits from Pisama. I didn't see any um, will runes on him, so that's the first hit. First hit does the most damage. Second hit will do less. So he's not fast enough to cut in, and this is why having that speed buff is important and having um, a fast unit in general for Alicia. <clears throat> Thank you for the follow. Okay, so I've already reached rank 74 from rank six, I gained 200 points and however long that was while explaining. Okay, so for this team, uh, it'll be very, very likely Wusa will go first and have a shield, but I will see how far my illusion can take me. Okay. Wusa's base speed is very high, plus a 33. No point in using a 33 to each contest. I want that extra damage. So let's see how much damage I can do. Okay, so I popped him very, very low. And this is why you need Alicia to clean up. Raki is not going to do anything here. I get, a I, got I get two skills off in one turn. Dead. Right? All right, so for this double fire, I think Molly should clean up. I just have to tank that piece of armor. Okay, so I got lucky and I didn't glance on the unit. So <clears throat> I can easily clean up. Leg. Yeah, I see the leg. I'm not sure what's going on. I did close everything on my computer. If it continues to lag, I'll make this a little shorter. Uh, but I think everybody gets the general idea of how to use um, this team. Okay, so again, speed lead and Orion. How confident are you in your speed set? Let's find out. If I lose, I know his name. And I just memorize it and use the speed lead against him. All right, it's a Will Orion, so it's not fast. Okay. And this is also why P Sama passive and Triana doesn't work. It, <clears throat> it's not a good combo together. Okay, cleanup potential done. So these these clears are less than 10 seconds. So this is what it needs. This is what you need to climb into G3 or legend, when you have no AD, no Tian Lang, no Halfus, you need fast clears. Okay, last refill. All right, so this AD is, is probably too fat for my Lucian, right? So in this scenario, it's where I would use Quad Lucian. Quad Lucian is based off my, the runes are based off my first video. All you're using is a Jameer. If you have a Bastet, rune that's on double fight, Will. If you have no best like me, double shield, will. Okay. Okay. He has no attack bar booster, so that's why I go first. All right. 
Okay, and that's why I have a shield set because if it proc one more time, I probably maybe would have died. Okay, so that's when I would use um, a quad Lucian team when I can't bust through all of these tank units with um, one fat Lucian. Okay. Rank 40, so we're coming pretty up high. Okay, so this is the same concept. Um, you could use this team, or you could use this team. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be using Alicia and Fat Lucian. Okay. Okay, I see them like I'm, I'm lagging pretty badly. I'm not sh too sure why. Okay, so here, I think my third skill can kill Harmonia. And that's why you need a lot of damage. Okay, and it kills it. And I got a free turn off, so everything should be dead. <clears throat> okay. So I don't see any threat here. No attack bar booster. We'll just run him down with the Fat Lucian team. <clears throat> okay, so everything died. I will get a third skill and a second proc <clears throat> onto the, the unicorn. To clean up. Okay, so this unicorn is reflecting my damage, but like I said, I have comeback potential with a revive. Can I use Zyros? Um, I'm gonna say no because you want a 44 lead. 44 does not equal 33. Okay, so I'm getting stalled out by this tank pony. <clears throat> so there's potential that I lose here. And, you know, I figured out this takes me a while to clear. So maybe I don't want to clear this with Fat Lucian next time. Okay, so for something like this, I don't know if I can do this just because we have four tank units. But if I do this, the Molong will likely cut in between my Megan and my Lucian. And I'll just demonstrate that to you. So doing this, I do not recommend using Quad Lucian into a Vanessa Molong. Because there is potential for him to cut or for him to go first, right? So if he used second skill and he stunned my units, I'm basically double lucianing with a speed lead, right? Okay, see, it cuts in with that Juno, so it's not safe, but um, we still win just because the AI wasn't that the greatest. So we don't take these risks when we do rush because it's not it's un it's uncalled for. And if you can't hit these, just skip it. Okay, so exactly the same team as last time. However, we have that double fire. We can try this and see how it works. I don't think anything will cut me, so I'm gonna use more damage. Okay, all his monsters died. Okay, so if he kills my Lucian, 
with his Rakan, I'm basically using double, triple Lucians here. But his Rakan is too slow. Okay, never mind. Take that back. Okay. And that's why this team against double fire without Alicia is very, very risky. Okay. So if anything, um, if he had any more damage there, I lost my Lucian, I would have lost it. So do not recommend doing this. Do not recommend it. So for this, similar concept. Do I respect him? No. If you do, use yourself a 33 lead. It'll take a little longer. Okay. All the Orions are on will today. So we'll just kill him in one shot. Second skill because it does more damage. Because he also have a speed lead. Okay. This team, I'm going to use the fat Lucian because I'm confident that my Lucian can kill this unit in one shot. No one misses healing. Konamiya counters this unit, so it does nothing. Yes, I mean Tion, sorry. Okay. Okay, so third skill to kill off the monkey, get the second skill off, and it's dead. Easy clear. Okay, this team has Halfist, we skip. Halfist, skip. This team, so <clears throat> if this is on the fastest Swift set, then we lose, right? So Michael is one of my viewers, so we'll see how this works. Okay, so he's not fast enough. My Bernard is fast. I know his Molong is really fast, even with 33 lead. Um, Molong's base speed is pretty low. Let's see if we can kill him. Okay, so he cuts in with the anti-crit. So <clears throat> this is why it's not safe. If my... So if, first of all, Vanessa is a tank build, right? And it didn't die to anything and it revived something back. Second, um, <clears throat> if this Alicia doesn't kill anything here, I lose. Right? For something like this, I think I would double Lucian. But it's the fact that... <clears throat> The, the Vanessa is, tr is triple HP, speed HP, HP, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's really hard for any fat Lucian or Lucians at all to bust through tank Vanessas. Okay, so Halfist, we skip. Okay, for something like this, you can easily quad Lucian this because there's no threat. No Rakan, no Perna. Your your double Lucians your double Lucians here won't die, but when you're rushing, it's about speed. Um, well, for Legend, it's about speed. But if you're just rushing for G one, G two, whatever, um, maybe consistency is your thing. But I want speed here. Okay, so he has Will so Shield sets, and a tank Vanessa. So this may be spelling trouble for me. So who will it revive? If it revives the Winda, I probably won't get anything off. Okay, Windows revived. I think I will use second skills because Vanessa speed scaling. Okay, don't kill anything. <clears throat> I defense break my Bernard so that Vanessa will target it. Okay, get some healing off. No need to revive anything, just use the cooldown. Okay. And then we clean up. So this will take a little longer. So just because, just because um, I didn't kill him in one rotation, it might be faster for me to just quad Lucian this. Right? You see how long this is taking? My Lucian has no speed, right? So I'm relying on every time um, Kona gets the second, sorry, Tiong gets the second skill, or I just naturally get the attack buff up. So 
Um, it's a matter of testing to see what's faster. If you really, if you're really tryharding, then you really need to find out what works best against every individual. So for this, <clears throat> I don't see a threat. Um, if you don't have an Alicia and you want to use this team, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use Attack Lead to do more damage on these fire units. Okay, so this should be my last swing. I hope um, this video helped you guys in building your Fat Lucians. So he cut me in because I use attack percent lead over um, speed lead, but it's okay. He recovered with those heals and everything, but he has no threat here, right? So I'll just use Jameer's third skill, reset, and just reset the cycle. Okay, and it should be dead in one rotation. Two rotations, dead. Okay, so that is the end of my video. Thank you so much um, for tuning in. Make sure you guys um, join live for our Rush Hour stream every Sunday starting at 10 p.m. And um, drop a follow on my Twitch to see when I go live also throughout the week. And subscribe to my YouTube for more future content. Thank you so much, guys.